out here. I'm freezing. You know what I could use? A hot chocolate. Mmm, that's so good. I love it. It's so tasty. I don't know how anyone survives without a cup of hot. <gasps> I'm going to sell hot chocolate and make lots of money. Oh, wait a minute. We need to know how to count money first. Will you help me learn? Thanks, come on. Okay, let's see. This is a penny, and if we think about place value blocks, since it's worth one cent, we could represent this by a ones block. Oh, and here's a nickel. That's worth five cents, so let's use five one blocks. And here's a dime, ten cents. That's a tens block. And whoa, look out, here comes the big one, the quarter. It's 25 cents, so let's use two tens and five ones. And last, we have the dollar bill. That's worth 100 cents, or one dollar. We can use the hundreds block for this big guy. Now let's start practicing counting money. Okay, let's see. So the first thing we want to do is put our money in order from greatest to least. It makes it easier to count that way. Now remember the place value blocks each bill or coin represents. We have two dollar bills, which are each a hundred cents, so that means we have two dollars. Now let's look at the coins. 25 cents for quarter, plus another 25 cents for the second quarter, that makes 50 cents. Plus 10 for the dime, that makes 60. Another 10 makes 70. The nickel adds 5, so that makes 75. Plus 1 cent for the penny is 76. So we have $2.76. Super! I'm ready to sell hot chocolate. Hot chocolate! Hot chocolate! Get your hot chocolate! Only $3.20. It's delish. Oh, hello. Would you like to buy some hot chocolate? It's $3.20. What's that you have? A $5 bill? Hmm. All right. We need to give this lady some money back because she paid $5, but it's only $3.20. So we need to make change. Let's start with how much it costs, $3.20. That's three hundreds and two tens. And we need to see how much extra she paid so that we can give it back to her. If we add 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 cents, that will get us to $4. Then we just have to give her back one more dollar. So in all, we need to give her back one dollar and eighty cents. There we go. All right, let's check out these examples. The first one says, what is the value of the coins and bills above? So first we have those dollars. So we have one, two dollars. So let's start with two dollars. Now let's look at the coins. We have one, two, three quarters, and three quarters is 75 cents. Plus, a dime is another 10 cents, so let's add 10, that's 85. Another dime is 95, and another one would be $3.05. And then we have a nickel, so that adds five, so that's $3.10. And then the pennies are one, so $3.11, there we go. Our next one says, the diagram shows the contents of Lisa and Maria's purses. And we're trying to figure out whose purse contains a greater amount of money. All right, Lisa, let's see what you got. She has four quarters, so four quarters is $1. And then six dimes is 60 cents. And four pennies is four cents. So we have one dollar. And then 60 plus four would be 64. So that's one dollar and 64 cents. Okay, now let's check out Maria's purse. So Maria has three quarters. That's 75 cents plus eight dimes. Well, dimes are worth 10 cents each, so if we start at 75, we get 85, 
$1.95, a dollar five, a dollar fifteen, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar thirty-five, a dollar forty-five, a dollar fifty-five. Okay, and then one penny is one cent, so that would make it a dollar fifty-six. Well, Lisa has more money, so she would be the answer. And then the last problem says Karen bought a candy bar for a dollar seventy-five, but she paid with two dollar bill. Well, if we have a dollar seventy-five and we want to get to two dollars, we're just missing a quarter. And that's twenty-five cents. So she must have received twenty-five cents back. All right. These problems aren't so bad. I'm off to sell hot chocolate all over town.